Have you ever felt manipulated or belittled by a narcissist? This is an all too common experience, often leaving you feeling drained and questioning your self-worth. But here's the good news. You're not powerless. In fact, your worth is immeasurable. And it's high time you recognized it. Boundaries aren't shackles. They're wings. They're not about setting limits, but about creating a safe space for yourself. A space where your energy isn't constantly sapped, where your well-being is a top priority. Think of boundaries as your personal liberators, freeing you from the clutches of manipulation. They're not about punishing the narcissist, but about safeguarding your precious energy, your mental peace. You're worthy of respect, worthy of love, worthy of a life that's not dictated by someone else's whims. You deserve healthy relationships. And that journey to health and happiness starts with one crucial step, honoring your needs. Because in the end, your needs aren't just important, they're non-negotiable. Can you spot when you're being manipulated? It's a question we all need to ask ourselves, especially when dealing with a narcissist. Look for the common tactics they use. Are they constantly belittling you, making you feel small and insignificant? Do they have a knack for guilt tripping you into doing their bidding, turning your emotions against you? Or perhaps they exploit your kindness, using your good nature as a stepping stone for their own gain? These are all red flags, waving high, alerting you to the fact that something is off balance. They're not just a signal that you're dealing with a narcissist, but a sign that your boundaries are being crossed. These manipulative tactics are not just unpleasant, they're damaging and disrespectful. Recognizing them is the first step to setting boundaries. These red flags are your cue to step back and draw a line. Are you tired of dancing around the issue? It's time to step into the limelight of your life, and that means being clear and direct about your boundaries. You see, ambiguity is the playground of manipulators, a place where they twist and turn words to serve their agenda. But clarity? Clarity is your fortress, impenetrable and unyielding. So how do we build this fortress? With I statements. These powerful tools put you in the driver's seat of the conversation. Start your sentences with, I feel, or I need. For instance, I feel uncomfortable when you ignore my opinions, or I need some space to focus on my work. With these statements, you're expressing your boundaries clearly and directly. And here's the thing. You don't need to justify your boundaries. They're not open for debate or negotiation. They're your personal guidelines, your rules of engagement with the world. So express them confidently, assertively, and without apology. Remember you don't owe explanations or justifications. What happens when your boundaries are crossed? Well, that's where consequences come into play. And no, we're not talking about threats or punishments. Instead, think of consequences as self-care instructions. They're the actions you take when your boundaries are breached. Setting consequences is crucial. It's a way of telling the world, I value myself and I won't tolerate disrespect. But remember, this isn't about retaliation or revenge. It's about preserving your own peace and well-being. So how do you communicate these consequences calmly and clearly? You might say, if this behavior continues, I'll have to end our conversation. Or, if you keep pushing this boundary, I'll need to limit our contact. It's not about issuing ultimatums, but about asserting your needs. And here's the catch. You've got to follow through. If a boundary is crossed, enact the consequence. Consistency is the key here. You're teaching others how to treat you, so make sure you're sending the right message. Consistency is key, so follow through without anger or drama. Are you being too hard on yourself? It's a question we often forget to ask ourselves, especially when we're in the throes of setting boundaries. Remember, this process is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's a journey that requires patience and self-compassion. When you start setting boundaries, the narcissist might not take it well. They may throw tantrums, guilt trip you, or try to weasel their way back into your life. It's easy to feel overwhelmed, to question whether you're doing the right thing. But let me assure you, you are. During these times, it's vital to be gentle with yourself. If you stumble, forgive yourself. If you falter, pick yourself up and keep going. Celebrate each victory no matter how small because each step forward is a testament to your strength and resilience. Remember, it's not about achieving perfection, it's about making progress, at your own pace, in your own time. Progress, not perfection, is the goal. 